Hello children, I'll see. So today we'll read the lesson, we'll learn an astrologer's day, written by R.K. Narayan. So R.K. Narayan is a famous Indian writer. So many interesting lessons he wrote. Okay, every class you'll be having some lessons about him, you know, which are written by him. Very interesting letter. Lesson it is, I think you might have watched the story. It's is there in Malgudi days. If you have watched Malgudi days, the serial that comes in uh, DD channel, so you might have seen this astrologers. Tip. So let us go to the lesson. Very interesting lesson. Let's start it. Page number 163. Page number 163. So compulsory, you have to open your textbooks. Let us start. An astrologers day written by R.K. Narayan. Punctually at midday, he opened his bag and spread out his professional equipment, which consists of a dozen cowrie shells, a square piece of cloth with obscure mystic charts on it, a notebook, and a bundle of palmera writing. His forehead. So, okay, I'll explain this. So, exactly midday afternoon midday exactly he opened his back who is that an astrologer a person called astrologer his profession is astrology astrologer means what the person who studied astrology not astronomy astronomy means astronomy is related to space that is good that is a science we have to like science physics chemistry so that is a great thing astronomy astronomy the person who studies astronomy becomes astrologer astron astronomer astronaut we can call or astronomer but here astrologer astrologer means who reads palm history and that study you know the because of movement of stars and because of movement of planets and all the creation of god so he will be the de uh, declaring determining the destinations of the future of the people okay like that he'll be earning the money from the people he says that in your uh, days in your life it is going to happen because of that planet is moving from the earth to there like that something he will say and he will try to get the money from you so punch ball that uh, that is nothing but astrologer so exactly at the midday, uh, midday this person will come there and he will open we do i'll tell you the place where he sits every day uh, just I am giving the introduction part. He open his what he will do? Mm, he opens his bag. Okay, in his bag he has something in his some belonging for there. What are they? Spreads out his professional equipment. Whatever the things that are related to his profession. What is his professional astrologer? So that is the work he will do. Uh, and he has to carry the things that is needed for his profession everything he'll carry and he will open that and in that what are there dozen cowrie shells will be there shells you know right sea shells oh so that how many are there dozen dozen mean 12 things 12 or uh, another one is square piece of cloth will be there the pla square key square shape piece of cloth not the paper but it is a cloth uh, what is there in that cloth some uh, obscure mystic charts are there some drawings and some charts are written in that pay in that cloth and that is not uh, visible obscure mint is not vis uh, visible properly not clear blur little bit blur things the charts are there on it and also one notebook also he'll be having he has one notebook and at last a bundle of palmer of writings the things the leaves over that in olden days they to write the leaves no palmera tree leaves so in that they will be writing something so even that also there are some bundle of palmera writings also there along with him these are the belongings that this person the astrologers will carry every day okay next about his uh, physical structure i mean the how he looks like what are the uh, dust he will wear that and all next his forehead was uh, resplendent with the sacred ash and vermilion and his eyes so he will be foreheads on his forehead he'll be applying something like uh, ashes they'll put no 
lines lines three lines they will put in the middle they will put some orange color vermilion means orange color substance they will keep like bindi and his eyes sparkled eyes are very sharp abnormal gleam so sharp they are they are not normal eyes so they will be little bit bright which was really an outcome of a continual searching looking look for customers he will be searching who will come like uh, for whom they were searching customers customers he will be searching but which his simple clients took to be a prophetic light and felt comforted so through his light the customers they'll think that the prophetic means whatever this astronomer says so they'll believe that it will happen that is nothing but prophetic telling about the things uh, that are going to happen in future so he the customers will believe him and the power of his eyes was considerably enhanced by their position so because of his brightness in his eyes so they it will be give little bit little more shiny to this position and they will believe him like anything and placed as they were between the pointed forehead and the dark whiskers which streamed down his cheeks even a half wit's eyes would sparkle in such a city Okay, as if he was, uh, his eyes were so bright, and that also even attract the people. And they'll also come near to him, and he will say something in the evening, in night time also, evening times also in the darkness. So he will be telling about them, and they'll believe, and they'll give something to him to crown the effect. He won a saffron-colored turban round his. Head. Even in order to make so attractive, he will uh, cover his head with the orange color turban, saffron color turban. That color is little bit attractive. So to attract the customer, that is the dress of this astronomer. This color scheme never failed. People were attracted to him as bees are attracted to cosmos or dahlia stalks. Okay, how the people are attracted him the different waves the writer is uh, comparing to them like the bees how the bees will attracted to the uh, uh, sweets and all like that in such a way these people are attracted to him in order to get in order to know something from him about their future he sat under the boughs of a spreading tamarind tree so where does he sit under the tamarind tamarind trees little bit uh, so branch uh, so many branches will be there so though it is it will not give that much shady but um, it's not that much shady but they, he will sit under that the tree was there so under the branches of the tree uh, under the tamarind tree he is to sit there which flanked a path sorry shoot. here mm. He sat under the boughs of a spreading tamarind tree which flanked a path running through oh, the town hall park. So directly the town hall park is there that they will be passing over that place and that place is very uh, important place and the, the customer place, busy place that were. It was a remarkable place in many ways. So it has a different ways and it, that is the center part of the city. So many people will be moving here and there. So uh, anyway they can meet him and they can approach him so that he can get money also. The surging crowd was always moving up and down this narrow road morn, morning till night. That is like a narrow road only but from till morning to evening the people will be moving in that place. That much busy place it was. Okay. The, so such a place he has chosen in order to do his business. Exactly he will come daily and that was the things that he was doing. And a variety of trades and occupations was represented all along its way. Medicine sellers, sellers of stolen hardware and junk magicians and above all an actioner of cheap cloth. So many business people are there. Hmm? 
uh, the people who are selling different different items as if here they have mentioned medicine sellers or they stolen hardware something the people will be stealing uh, from other places uh, like uh, smuggle goods and all shoes small small things and all they will steal from different place in the shops and all and they'll come there all together they'll be selling the things no one will identify that he has stolen right so like such a type of vendors are also there along with him and cheap cheap cloths will be there they will also they they'll be tell, selling such type of cloth okay and junk food junk uh, med magicians also will be there so like that so many different people are there who created enough din all day to attract the whole town next to do him in voice ferociousness came a vendor of fried groundnut so after the next to him your one person who is uh, uh, the person who is uh, selling the fried groundnuts so loud he was his voice is so loud so the in such a loud voice high pitch he used to selling the vendors we know right how the gra groundnut sellers fried groundnut sellers will be selling the groundnuts so if i ask you to imitate immediately you will try to imitate how they were sell so in such a voice is there. then who gave his wear a fancy name each day calling it bombay ice cream okay this is the uh, these are the some titles uh, that he has given to the groundnuts fried groundnuts so while sending the fried uh, fried groundnuts this person will be giving the titles to the groundnuts in order to attract the customers what is the one is so, so he'll say like this bombay ice cream he is not selling bombay ice cream but he has given this name to his fried groundnuts why because to attract the customers bombay ice cream one day he will say on the next day uh, delhi almond okay to his fried almonds he uh, sorry to his fried groundnuts he has given that many names delhi almond and on the third day raja's delicacy okay one more name also so totally three names he used to give to his ground fried groundnuts and so on so forth and people flocked to him a considerable portion of this crowd dallied before the astrologer too so like that in order to buy the gra fried groundnuts who is sixth sitting next to this astrologer so many people will be coming it was like a big crowd and those the crowd even they will be attracted to astrologer too Okay. Then the astrologer transact transacted his business by the light of a flare which crackled and smoked up above the groundnut heap nearby. So he was using the light of the groundnut vendor. He doesn't have his own light. Remember this. Listen carefully. Here also you have to remember. You have to listen carefully. Okay, ground. Uh, sorry, astrologer doesn't have its own light. He is to sit next to the groundnut vendor, the fried groundnut groundnut vendor. So definitely, the fried groundnut vendor will be having the fire along with him, so that he can fire the fry the groundnuts, and it will become hot hot. So the flames that are coming from the uh, uh, groundnut vendor stuck. So he used to use that flame as a light for his business. Who oh, the astrologer? Because he doesn't have its own light. Then there is a reason also for him. For that we'll come to know that half the enhancement, sorry, enchantment. of the place was due to the fact that it did not have the benefit of municipal lighting okay there is no need of municipal lighting all together they will be having their own lights the shop lights or the the place was lit up by the shop lights no need of municipality i means government lights street lights will be there no there is no need of street lights because everywhere shops are there they are filled with their own lights so the streets have the lighting of the shop lights one or two had a sing gas light some people will be having the sound will be mean so gas lights they will be holding along with them some had naked flakes some ha huh? naked flakes stuck on poles 
so we know right on the poles they'll be keeping the fire and with that they'll be getting the lighting some were lit up by the old cycle lamps and some people will have the cycle lamps and one or two like the astrologer managed without lights of their way and see remaining people one or two people so they'll be managing with the lights of the other people they don't have their own life like how how the astrologer was managing they suited the astrologer very well so he thought that was the that place really suited for him to get the light on so and for the simple reason that he had not in the least intended to be okay an astrologer when he began life and he knew no more of what was going to happen to others than he knew what was going to happen to himself next minute okay so here listen carefully it was uh, so here one or two uh, here it was bevel's ring cross or cause of light rays and moving shadows this suited so because of this lights they'll be moving and they'll be blinking like upon him they'll be giving the uh, the sparkle of lights upon him so that place was really suited him the, so that the other people cannot see his fate properly okay for the simple reason that he had not in the least intended to be the astro to be an astrologer when he began life and he knew no more of what no more of what was going to happen to others than he knew what was going to happen to himself next minute okay he was a he was as much a stranger to the stars as were his innocent customers actually he was not a real astrologer he doesn't have the knowledge of astrology he doesn't know the future of people just he was acting pretending as if he knew everything yet he said the things which pleased and astonished everyone Yet, though he doesn't know the things, the future of the th other people, still he will be telling something, whatever he knew, just by common sense, he'll be telling the other foolish, innocent customer, they will believe him and they were giving money to him. Yet, he said things which pleased and astonished everyone. That was more a matter of study, practice and shrewd guesswork. It was like guesswork, practice and study. even sometimes even we can guess the things that are going to happen common sense it is be soon the this man will do and the innocent customers were believe everything and they were giving money to him all the same it was as much an honest man's labor as any other and he deserved the wages he carried home at the end of the day so at the end of the day whatever money he got it he earn he could earn so that everything the coins he will collect and go to home that was his daily routine work so in the next class we'll see what will happen in the next turn